Hi everyone, welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How you guys doing today? Um, so I am, I have not done the pour yet, as of this minute, but this is the introduction to do the pour, so it better come out good. You hear me? I mean, I got it all set up, ready to go, but I gotta go meet a girlfriend and have dinner. But I wanted to show you guys um, some things I've been doing it's a, for embellishing, okay? And it's, it's a cheat, okay? It's a cheat, and if you're planning on selling, you can't do this. This is for like a gift or something like that because it's a copyright infringement. Okay, so I'm just putting that out there. But if you're a freehand drawer artist, then, and you think of your own design, that's a different story. But I can't freehand draw like even a turtle. It looks like kindergarten. It's funny. But um, my husband can draw. So anyway, here's what I wanted to show you guys. What I want to talk about is, say you have a pour and it's just lacking something. Um, and it's got, you know, space for putting an animal on it or something like that. That's when you really can brainstorm and come up with some cool, cool ideas. I'm just gonna show you now. <clears throat> These first two I'm gonna show you are for my husband and he's an artist, okay? And this one's resin. And um, so he drew on the seaweed and the seahorse. And I just love this painting. Uh, so it was a boring, boring little pour and I almost threw it away. I'm so glad I didn't. Now this one, he's recently finished. It's not resin yet, so it's gonna look even better once it's resin. But um, now he did look at a picture on the internet and do the butterfly. So he was able to incorporate the cells here and um, yeah, so that's freehand drawing. And if you can freehand draw, God bless you. You need to do it. It looks amazing on acrylic pores. Now here's my cheat because I can't draw. What I do is I go to Michael's and I find a coloring book, okay? Coloring book. Now this one has got girl's faces in it because I had an idea, okay? So you see how much nice space is there? How nice that would look on a pour? There's another one. Um, this book was so awesome. Okay, how beautiful could that look on a pour, right? And then this one right here. Okay, so here's, here's the trick. You're asking me how do I get it onto the canvas? Tracing paper, okay? You get tracing paper, Michaels. And then you trace it on there, and then you get your, um, what's this stuff called? Graphite paper. But basically, it's copy paper. So for this one, I really like the picture on the front, and I thought it would look nice. And so you cut a piece of tracing paper to the size of the design of the book. And then you're gonna wanna tape it down with Scott's tape. You don't want it shifting around when you're tracing it. Okay, so then you just draw it. And that honestly, like, it's like 10 minutes. It's so, like, easy to trace, okay? So then, when you're done, then you can see through it and you can look at the best place that you wanna put your design, okay? And then you take, now that you found the best place for it, you take your tracing paper with the ink side down, okay? And, cause like I taped the top for instance, that way it didn't move, like I taped it right here and then I just lifted it and then put the paper underneath, okay? Get it all in place, okay? And then you wanna tape that. So you, you really wanna tape it down while you're drawing it. Um, and then, also, a little thing I figured out from the first time is don't lean your hand on this part that you don't want lines on because the, your hand pressing on it will transfer. Um, so, I mean, you can a little bit like that, you know, but just know that what gets pressed on is going to transfer. 
So you just wanna use a sharp pencil, go over your design a second time, another 10 minutes, and then you peel it off. And then you'll have it's very fine uh, markings like a pencil. And then you get markers. Now when I first started doing this, I invested in these um, these markers, what are these things called? Coric sketch markers. They're like $7 a piece, okay? These things. And they're great and everything. But let me tell you, they're not necessary. These are like way, way cheaper, like $1.99 each. Um, and they work just as good. Any, almost any marker will mark on the paint, okay? But keep in mind that if you're planning on resining it, when before you resin, you have to wash your silicone off. So wash your silicone off before you start your drawing, because that way when your drawing is completed, then you can just put resin over it. And that's really it. I mean, it's it's not complicated. This isn't done, um, uh, one, because I figured out from um, trying to wash the silicone off that the, like if there's a spot I hate, it actually soapy water does rub it off. <laughs> so that's a way of erasing it if you screw up. Um, so that's what happened right there. And I gotta go back in there and finish. And then when you're done, then you resin it. And you know, you can give it for Christmas gifts to your friends. Here's a little butterfly I put on this one. Now this pour uh, has a video, if you guys haven't seen it. I don't know what number it is, but it, it's, I think it's posted on my page. And then this is another coloring book, little turtle guy I did, right here. So, little cheating, but I don't care, you know? <laughs> Give it away to a friend or your parents or, you know, Christmas gifts. I think it's great for Christmas gifts because then you get to do pours and then if you get a little bit of a boring one or you maybe you'll make a pour like this pour was specifically made boring on purpose because I wanted to do a turtle on top of it. So yeah, um, doing background pours uh, would have less cells possibly. Uh, so anyway, I am uh, having a little fun with that doing the, you know, the 10 by 10s and the 12 by 12s. And I just wanted to share that with you, a little cheat. Can't sell it though, because that is copyright infringement. But uh, for giving away and just having a good time, uh, that's how I kind of do that. So anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in a minute when we get down to the painting. Okay, let's get down to the painting now, everybody. So I've got my five cups. One, these are 16 ounce wide rim cups. I don't fill them up all the way though. So I'd probably fill them up um, three quarters of the way. And then this is a 24 ounce. And again, I don't fill that all the way up, but um, it's better to have too much paint than to have not enough. So that's my goal. So this is uh, the fourth and final painting. I've got a big cup of white here. Now that white is a little bit thinner than my previous batches. Um, I've got Naples yellow, Basics lime green, and Basics orange, cadmium orange hue. And then here is what's different from the others is this Basics Deep Magenta. And I've already used some of it. It's, it comes out really pretty and it's gonna be a nice pop. There's gonna be a lot of white in this. It's gonna be a sandwich pour. So actually what I wanna do is I wanna add my silicone to these colors. All of them have a nice pop. And these two, the green and the orange are really, really full. So I'm gonna put in uh, four, three, four drops in these two. And this one, this one actually has quite a bit too. One, but this one, because I used some of it, probably has silicone in it too. I might only do two because I think I already put two, a couple drops in it and used it. 
and there's no silicone in the white. This is the spot on treadmill belt silicone. And the pouring medium today is my usual 12 ounces of glue all, six ounces of Floetrol, and three ounces of GC 800. Don't fix, don't need to fix what's bro not broken, right? <clears throat> and the size canvas is this. This is a 16 by 40 to match the three 16 by 40s I have over there already. Not to match like lookalikes, but just to size wise match. All right. So. Let's put a big amount of white on the bottom of these cups. Now, keep in mind when you're doing your bottom layer of white, that when you flip it over, that's gonna determine how much white will be on top. So my idea of a sandwich pour is I have enough white. The reason I like a sandwich pour is because it leaves a lot of negative space and it's not overdoing your design. So, yeah. If you put a tiny layer on the bottom of the cup, it's not going to look like a sandwich pour. It's almost like that layer matters more than the top layer because once you flip it over it becomes the bottom layer okay so I'm literally gonna do all these different okay I'm gonna start one with green one with orange one with yellow I don't have any more of this color if I wanted to like stop and make some. So then I start with this one with Naples here. And then go around kind of like clock. Now I've got plenty of this color. <laughs> and again, if you think of it in terms of when you flip the cup over, what's gonna be on top? So if the white peeks through and then there's the second color or the first color that you put over the white, then it'll be like a plummy. Like this one started with the plum and then the so most likely, most likely, it would be the plum would peek through. And then on this one, the green was the first color, so the green would peek through, most likely. Now, you know how that goes. It just could be. Um, doo -doo -doo. I wanna do, what do I wanna do in the big one? I wanna do this color in the big one first. That's what's gonna make this one different. Okay. Now I don't wanna go green, 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 green all the way around and have orange and green be together on all of these. So I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I do, however, like the idea of Naples being on that burgundy. I just kind of look and I kind of feel for color inspiration, you know, what do I have? And then if they sell up together, because with this formula, I get the ringed cells. So sometimes what happens is whatever color I put on top, you wind up with a cream ring with a green um, center. 
So, and then you could have a, or the other way around, an orange ring with a green center. Okay, enough talking, I need to focus. But I do kind of picture it in my head and go, oh, those would look together, good together if it made a ring sell. <laughs> I'm such a goof, I swear. I'm such a goofball. I listen to myself sometimes, I'm like, what am I saying? Just trying to make you guys laugh a little bit. So, I'm trying to think, is there any updates uh, on Lily? My daughter, I'd like to talk about her sometimes. Um, we, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I don't, maybe I didn't. We did go to Miami. And wow, what a trip, okay. Um, we weren't down there very long at all. But, and she did get picked at one of the agencies. Yay! So that was the whole purpose, the whole purpose. And um, we had to kind of sign some contracts and stuff and um, that all got done. And now there's basically like testing going on, testing, teaching her, you know, things that she's gonna need to know. But you know, there's no money in the bank happening yet. <laughs> Maybe one day, I don't know. But we're going down again November 15th. And so that was super duper successful. And um, I've had a few of you comment, you're so nice. And I don't take offense at all about telling me to be careful about, you know, and I, and I am, and I'm listening because I asked for the advice, you know, if there's anybody out there that's had experience doing anything like this already, I want to know, um, you know, give me a heads up, but I'm being real careful and I'm going to all of her shoots and stuff like that. Um, to, you know, just basically be the mama bear present. love this color right now. I'm so in love with this burgundy plum, whatever you want to call it. And I'm running it out. This is the last bit of it. But, you, you know, I thought that there were so many modeling agencies in Miami that I truly thought that there would be like models walking around like everywhere and be like, oh, all the gorgeous people. And Funny thing, not that they weren't gorgeous people, but there was a, not many blondes. And so me and my daughter were walking, walking everywhere. I mean, there's no way to park, so you just have to walk everywhere. And we were getting quite the looks from the gentleman variety. And, uh, and I know it's because we were blonde. How crazy is that? I mean, I haven't been looked at like that here in Daytona or Port Orange. <laughs> if I wanted to go get looked at, I need to just go down to South Beach. So anyway, not that I'm looking for that kind of attention. I'm a married woman. Calm down. All right. I'm running out of colors. Hmm. Still have orange and green. Why don't I end... This middle one. Okay, those three I'll end in green, and then these two I'll end in orange. So yeah, the next time we go down, it'll be for three days, and apparently it's gonna be more test shots. She has to get her portfolio looking better. I guess that was just the beginning portfolio and the portfolio is everything it has to be perfect and apparently it's a constant changing you know and updating and um kind of thing 
Oh, and then you know how they had the little local magazines in town? They're like a couple pages and they're like local magazine. Lily's face is gonna be in print. How funny is that? In November, so coming up soon. And I was like, wow, that's fast. Of course, because it's just a local thing, you know, you don't get any money for it. It's just one of her portfolio shots that got chosen. But it's still pretty cool. All right, let's flip these babies. I'm gonna put this one down there. I just don't want to knock them over when I slam this big cup. All right, here we go. Okay. Now this center puddle tends to get pretty big, so I'm keeping these out here. I can always move them back once I let that puddle kind of open up. So yeah, that's pretty much the update on the on the daughter situation. Plus she's doing her band. She's been marching out on the field, banging her cymbals. How she, that's how she stays skinny. Band marching, doing cymbals and drumline um, stuff. So she really loves it. All right, here we go. Wow. Okay. So the burgundy and the Naples yellow made this pretty brown color. I don't hate it. Don't hate it. I'm assuming that's what made it. Oh, yes. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Colorful. All right, this cup. didn't twist that one as much, but <laughs> that's probably going to get poured off. It's so pretty, but it's, I can see already that it's really going to stand out uh, in, in not a good way to where it just looks so different. It's a bit of a shock. It's the way I pulled the cup without the twist. So I'm going to just kind of get these all to meet up and we're going to swirl around a little bit, create some Swirlies. Now remember when, I have to remind myself of this. This thing's heavy, so use your table.
I'm gonna try and get down there in that back corner before I start coming up here because he is not as much as I would like. All right, so this corner, I'm gonna do something about that in a minute. I need to do some torching. This thing came out really dark. There's some things in here that I don't like. There's some things in here that I love, but let's not jump ahead here. hate that bright spot up there but either way I still have to pour some of it off because it's not covered over there and guys I can hardly see what I'm doing like honestly I can't even see if it's even moving come on guy I mean I'm having to tilt it very hard is not good. Not good. Okay. All right, so I had to go and make um, some white and I saw some other colors that I have and I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this bright green because it just looks weird and I'm gonna embrace the overall look of it which is very fall. So what I have is, I'm just gonna take one of these cups. I've got this, it's a, I don't even know the shade. I think this is the gray purple I mixed up the other day by basics and I'm gonna have to mix it to the side y'all aren't gonna be able to see this but I'm just gonna use a lot of white because like this is a problem and I'd rather it be solid white than look like that okay so I'm just going to essentially erase the parts I don't like because I don't want to scrape this big old canvas at all. And then the other color I have um, is this olive green. I'm not going to use that much of it. And a little bit of this Naples yellow. I had just a scratch left. So I'm in major repair mode right now because I'm like, I mean, I know right now there's, I just don't like all of it. There's parts of it I love. Let's see if I can save it. I'm 
Now I'm going to focus on this corner right here. So I may be doing a couple of these cups. All right, it is coming out, so I don't have time to waste. So let's focus on getting rid of that eyesore over there. Now we're getting somewhere. It does look a little weird when you add it because it causes this line, but I love that so much more. I think I did not silicone. <laughs> I don't even care. I like it. It's like swirly and pretty. Let's see if I can make that hide. I might, I might have saved this. are jumping like crazy. Crazy, y'all. Crazy. Okay. Now, let me see if there's anything else I should mess with it. Hmm. Like I like this a lot. It's the center I kind of have a little problem with now. So I think I'm going to do another cup and hopefully I don't regret it, but you gotta be brave, y'all. Got to be brave. I sound like such a Southern y'all. I don't really say that too often, but. Yeah, I'm not going to use the lime green anymore. Okay, so this is my problem area right here because I had to tilt it, the, the shape of these cells is very odd. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the top and just focus on the middle. This one's giving me trouble, but you, you can't give up. 
you know, you, you don't have to always say, well, I have to live with it. You know, you can keep trying. If you know that you don't like it, For the noise, uh, somebody's doing the landscaping outside my house. I have no control. Wow, this one was really tough, really, really tough. But I have to admit, I do like it much better now. I don't know if I'm totally in love with it, but did I have fun? Yeah, I totally had fun. I like the colors with just the um, three colors. It was white, Naples yellow, purple gray, and olive green. And that was these colors. So I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Okay, so here it is from this angle. And if I was shooting for fall colors, I got it, huh? This. Just all in all, as a whole, far away, looks very fall with the purples and the plums and the oranges and the brown. And that just happened to mix. The brown came from something mixed with the burgundy. Like instead of it being like, where's that one cell? That cell. Which these cells are pretty in areas. Uh, it blended. So, but all in all, from far away is really all that matters. And uh, it's the last one for the restaurant. It's, it'll help a wall with a really bright wall. The walls are like a pale yellow there and this will definitely go with it. Here it is from the bottom up. And y'all, I am very glad I did what I did because I do think I saved it. Because that top was crazy. I'll give you a little side shot. So the edge came out nice. We've got this real pretty edge. I love it when the circles around and shows that pretty edge. So all in all, happy with it. It was the hardest one of the four that I did. Um, and, but like I said, I think the biggest lesson that I learned here is don't give up. If you know right away that you don't like it, don't give up. Go run, mix some paint like I did. I dashed dashed away <laughs> and uh, you know put pour another cup on top of it and you know make it look good especially if I mean if it's a little painting don't worry about it but a big one like this 
yeah you don't want to throw that away that product away so yeah awesome job yay thought i would show you some of my fall decorations got a couple of new plants and i love them and i love this season although in florida we're not feeling much of a change in the weather but i moved some paintings around that i had in the house and there is the new baby over there take a little walk so you guys can see up close how pretty it looks next to the orange and red green and i was a little concerned because this area here and this middle area that i had to go over uh would look too different but it doesn't it's perfect i wouldn't change anything about it but i did have a little bit of a struggle and but i came out on top <laughs> yay so that's not its permanent place it's going to be going to the restaurant but i just thought you guys would love to see it all dry so there she is pretty pretty i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did hit the like button that really helps the channel and subscribe if you haven't already and uh to see more like this I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.